I want to tell you a little story about my best pigeon, Gladiator, the Olympic pigeon and uh, national ace bird for my loft. Yeah, that weekend he won the second prize, so he became Olympic pigeon and national ace bird. In 2000, I bought a pigeon voicer in the club here from Jules Sampermans and this was the papa of Tiesto that I bought there. Also, we raised this pigeon that we bought as forager and he won two times the first prize on Bourse. Then we bring him to the breeding loft and he bred us famous pigeon Tiesto. In 2017, I uh, made my restart in the pigeon sport and uh, I decided to build my strain around one specific pigeon, Finn, and uh, also, of course, his parents. So, my second base pigeon in the loft is Ricky. Ricky is uh, related as well to Finn because the mother and himself are cousins. Um, Ricky was my first national ace pigeon since I raised with the pigeons in 2014 and he was also very successful the years afterwards, so he was three years in a row in the top uh, six in the PIPA ranking on the long distance races. I started with my own birds in a small loft in 1995. It was a loft by two by two only, I lived with my mother. It was for me also easy to get into the sport in a short period. Good pigeons also because we were related to several guys who flew on a high level. Uh, the most famous name was of course the Huben family. 2004, Queen Elle, our basic hen, she won first national on La Souterrain. It was about 600 kilometers. She was fastest against 19,000 pigeons, all birds and young birds together. Ik ben uh, Nicolas Gijzelbrecht en uh, ben gestart met Pipa in 2000 als uh, nieuwswebsite. En in 2008 ben ik dan uh, begonnen in het klein met Pipa Elite Center. Dat was met een koppeltje duiven en die, dat één koppeltje zijn dan meerdere koppels geworden. Uh, en in de loop van de jaren zijn we zo wel geëvolueerd. Beslist hebben met ons drie dat een duif maar verkocht mag worden uh, als wij vinden dat die goed genoeg is uh, voor onszelf, voor de eigen kweek. 